Right, so this video essentially shows you how to export, purchase or downloaded songs from your MacBook Pro and down to the iTunes on your mobile phone. Um, you're going to need a USB cable, uh, the um, lightning cable. One plugged to the USB um, compartment of your computer and the other um, plugged into the um, jack of your phone or the charging port of your phone. And basically what I'm trying to sync is the um, the album, which is the Jesus is Born Sunday Service Choir by Kanye West, um, which I've purchased um, online and I want to export that to the iTunes section of me of my phone. I just want to, you know, update, you know, whatever um, playlist I've got there. So I'll take one end and plug that into my phone and the charging port and the other end into the USB port of my computer. And so if you've downloaded songs from the internet, all you need to do is to drag them files onto um, a playlist that you've created on your iTunes. So once you've plugged the lightning cable into your computer and your mobile phone, um, the mobile phone icon should display just where you've got the, uh, the music um, icon displayed. So just as I plug in the USB um, lightning cable into the port of the computer just notice the icon beside the music icon update you know so it's got that square mobile phone icon so I click on that click on music so I can select you know playlists here the artists the albums or games and games or I can I can select to to sync the entire music library um, just take note that if you if you sync the entire music li library um, you might lose um, other files or other, um, you know, playlists that are not listed, that aren't listed anymore on your on your iTunes. So you you could choose to you know select a playlist if you want, but I just want to sing the entire library. So it's it's pretty much up to you, up to you though. But if you've still got you know um you know the old playlist you know on your computer, um and if you sync you you, you know you're not losing anything, are you? So I've hit the sync button and you can see, you know, it's saying step two or five, you know, up to step three or five, four or five and five or five. And once that's, you know, finished syncing, I'll, you know, proceed to, to the items on my phone to see if that's, if, if the playlist Jesus is born has been updated because that's the album I want to, I want to sync. You know, you, you might choose to, to sync, download it um, or purchase files from the internet like songs and, and what have you. But that's what, you know, I'll be looking for in my own mobile phone. So it's pretty much finished syncing, you know, it's, all the steps are, are virtually um, complete. So I'd proceed to um, look at the playlist on my phone, my iTunes, and scroll down to the bottom. And I think, yeah, I think I've found, just about found the, yeah, that's the, the um, Jesus is Born um, album. So that's been updated on my, on my play playlist, it wasn't there before. So basically what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you've got some playlist that you want to keep on your on your iPhone that isn't on your, your MacBook Pro, you might lose it. So just, you know, ensure that when you're syncing that, you know, whatever, whatever you want to keep on your iPhone is, is still in your is still in your iTunes, except you're, you're willing to let that go. OK, so just tick cognizance and tick cognizance and make sure that, you know, it matches. OK, um, just do double check. OK. Um, right, so if you found the information in this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and hopefully catch up with you soon as, I, as soon as I've got more upcoming videos. Goodbye.